In Microsoft Word 2010, the Home tab in the ribbon interface at the top of your screen has a lot of the, the very basic commonly used features of the program. But also, if we click on the Insert tab in the ribbon, you're going to find a lot of tasks that you would normally use as well. So if you click on Insert, you're going to see a number of different icons, and many of them will be familiar to you. For instance, if you want to access the Clip Art, you can go to the Insert menu and click on Clip Art. And again, you'll see just like you did in older versions of Microsoft Word, the ability to search for whatever pictures that you are searching for. You also have the ability to insert pictures that you currently have saved to your own computer or to your L drive. You also can insert shapes like you normally could, or if you need to draw arrows to point out things, you have that ability as well. You can also insert page numbers. So if you have a document that has, has multiple pages, you can tell Microsoft Word exactly where you want to insert page numbers, whether it be the top, the bottom, or the margins, etc. Again, another tool that we normally use quite often in Microsoft Word is inserting text boxes. And another favorite feature is Word Art. And you're going to see a lot more choices when you go into the Word Art feature. One of the other things that math teachers in particular are going to like is the ability to quickly insert math equations and math symbols. So if you are making up some kind of worksheet for your students and you want to actually have the symbols, you can click on insert symbol and you'll notice when you click over here you will see some of the very commonly used ones. So if you are going to be making an equation for division instead of having to use that slash, you can actually get the division symbol right there in the symbol section. If you don't see the symbol that you're specifically looking for, you can click on more symbols and you'll again find a whole bunch of other symbols located in here. In addition, you also have the ability to insert equations. So for higher math classes, there are a number of different equations that are already built into here, so you don't have to worry about actually typing them all out. You can just choose whichever one you want. And if you don't see any that are listed here that you want, you can click on more equations from Office and you'll get an even ad additional amount of equations to choose from. And then all you need to do is actually click on the equation and it will be inserted directly into your document and you'll have the ability to move it to make it larger, do whatever you would like with the equation itself. And then to get back out of the equation tools, we can click back over to our insert tab or we can click back on our home tab and then we can get back to exactly what it is we were looking to do. So this is just a little quick t tutorial on how to use some of the functions in the insert section that we normally would use. And in addition to some of the tools that I just showed you, if you want to add a blank page after another page, you can do that as well in here. And you can also do some hyperlinks as well, which we'll go over in another tutorial.